Hi everyone, welcome to another Sentry Box video. Today we are joined by Paul and Greg returning usually as always, maybe? Most of the time. And today we are going to be looking at Dice Throne and seeing as it is uh, going to be your baby Paul, I'll let you do the rest so you can't make me mess up. <laughs> oh, challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for having me here. Yes, I work with uh, Rockstar Games. We're based out here out of Calgary. Um, so you're your friendly local publisher. However, uh, Dice Throne was actually developed by uh, two awesome guys from Spokane, Washington, who came up to uh, partner with us. And what we've got sitting here in front of us is season one. Season one includes uh, six characters. This is a a fast-paced uh, dueling game uh, involving dice and card play. Uh, we're, we have set up here the Barbarian and the Moon Elf. We're gonna, shortly uh, going to be kicking this guy's butt, hopefully, yeah. in, in, a, in a couple of minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and But there's there's uh, six different characters come with Season 1. We have Season 2 currently on Kickstarter. Uh, so you can find that at roxy.com or dicethrone.com. Yeah, and the link's below. Links below. Oh wait, I'm right, because he can work that magic. Oh, yeah. He can work that magic. I, yeah, I cannot work that magic. <laughs> so if I try to say something like, "There's going to be an antelope below," probably there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> That's his job to to, to put that now. Antelopes up here. It's up here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I pointed in the wrong direction. Uh, so yeah, um, th this uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna run through. I'm gonna do a full teach of the game. I'm gonna show uh, teach Greg how to do it in case he's forgotten since last time we played. Uh, which is a possibility, I think. And, no. Oh no, he's he's awesome. He's he's gonna kick my butt this time. This is a, actually a grudge revenge. match. Yeah. The Moon Elf needs it needs needs vindication. Here. Revenge. We're, will we're hoping to bring Paul into um, team, not Greg. Team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, I love Greg. Why would I join team, that team? Team, not Greg. I'm it's, joining Team Greg. It's basically everyone it. else that plays. On everyone the else who plays. Ever. Okay. As long as Greg doesn't Greg. win. Well, I'm gonna have so to come can... by here with a co-op game so that we can be Team Greg. Uh, in the meantime, though, yes, I think I think the best introduction to this game will just be while I'm teaching Greg. So, uh, welcome to Dice Throne. Uh, I am playing. I'm gonna hold this up so that people can see it. On that little camera there. I am a barbarian, for those of you who did not know. These are a variety of attacks I can use to go after Greg using my custom dice. Uh, the turn structure, for anyone who's played Magic of the Gathering, you're going to recognize something very similar to this. There's an upkeep and an income. Uh, you're not going to be doing an awful lot of that every turn. You have a main phase, which includes an attack phase, and the opportunity to do more main phase actions there, and then a discard phase at the end. All right, so here in front of me, I have my player mat with all the different attacks that I was skipping ahead and getting into. That lives there. Over to the left, I have these little status tokens. Every character has a bunch of different things you can do to your opponent or buff yourself or that sort of thing. Uh, and each one's described on a little leaflet that comes with the character. I have a deck of cards. These cards are fairly simple. We're going to get into those in a more in a second. I have a combat point dial that keeps track of my combat points, which are the resources in the game. We're both starting at two. And I have a life dial here. And the objective, of course, is to reduce your opponent's life to zero. Do that, you win the game. And I have these amazing dice. My turn structure, I'm going to hold that one up there again, is very similar to Magic the Gathering. There's an upkeep and an income. We don't do that on the first turn. And then we get into the main phase. Now the main phase, a couple of different things you can do. The attack is the big part. We're going to get to that in one second because according to the turn structure, we have the chance to do something before the attack. So let's look at these cards. You can go ahead and draw four cards and get ready for your turn while I explain to the camera how the cards work. So there's a couple of different kinds of cards in Dice Throne. Um, you'll notice on the turn order that they are... The, the faces are marked in different colors. We've got blue faces and orange faces. Uh, the reason for that is to tell you what phase you can play your cards in. So anything that's blue, you'd be playing in the main phases, before the attack or after the attack, but not during the attack. These include a couple of different kinds of cards. Um, so let's again hold this up to the camera there. So you'll notice this Sturdy Blow 2 has an arrow up, that means it's a skill upgrade. And the other one has a star, that means it's just a, a one-shot card, and when you do it, it does something, and that something is done. So if it's a skill upgrade, I'm going to put it on top of my existing skill. And these come in defense skills as well, so I can put that on there. And they all have a little cost up at the top, see this one is 1 CP, and so I would pay my CP to play that card. 
and put it out into play. Now I have an upgraded skill. So these have better abilities on them, more damage, more powers, that sort of thing. Sometimes they increase the number of abilities you have. Then you're going to go to the attack phase, and we'll demonstrate one of those quickly. This is not my real attack. We'll just... <laughs> and you're going to roll your dice, and the dice come with both symbols and numbers on them. And the numbers are usually going to be important in terms of whether or not you're able to roll a straight. And this is similar to Yahtzee straights where uh, three, four, five, six would be a small straight or five numbers in a row would be a large straight. And every character will have straights as one of the combinations they can do. So I have Mighty Blow and Reckless as the Barbarian's straight abilities. Um, or the symbols can combine. So I've managed to roll four hearts here on my dice which I could use to activate my fortitude and heal. There we go, that's now in the shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the kind of uh, thing I'm going for, and using Yahtzee style rules, I'm going to re-roll any number of the dice up to tw two times. So I really like the straights myself. Uh, so I think, I, I think healing's a waste of time. I'm a barbarian, I'd rather just mash my opponent hard. So I'm going to take these dice and try and get myself a straight. And I've got... I have not got a straight, I've got twos, four, five, six, and I'll use my second reroll. And oh, I have managed to get a small straight. So I would then lock this in as my attack. Now, this brings us to our next kinds of cards. Remember I told you there are different colors of cards, so we have the orange ones. Orange ones are things that can be used during combat. So I could spend a combat point to use this try try again to allow myself to re-roll some dice. So let's go ahead and do this in this hypothetical example. And I'm going to re-roll that one. Well, that would go to my discard pile over there. And I'm going to re-roll that one. So that did not allow me to get my large straight. I still have a small straight. Now, Greg has the ability to play these cards as well. So he might play uh, a defense card or something that would interfere with my attack, making me re-roll one of these dice or changing it to a lower number, which would wreck my attacking combo. Uh, red cards can be played anytime, literally anytime. So that would be the hypothetical attack. Uh, Mighty Blow does nine damage. So I'd say, Greg, you've got nine damage coming in. Greg would then have a defense roll. Every character has their own different defense roll. So he's going to demonstrate the Moon Elf roll here. Ooh. Ooh. What do you got there? I got two damage back on you. And okay. Don't prevent anything. So the Moon Elf, if he manages to roll two feet, he would prevent half of the damage, round it up. He has not rolled two feet, he's only rolled one. And every pair of arrows he has will do one damage back to me. You don't get any re-rolls on the defense dice. However, you can play cards to interfere with them if that's something that you would want to do. Uh, so in this case, Greg would just go ahead and take the damage, but I would take two back from his counterattack from the Mist Me. And then I would have the chance to go ahead and play any remaining main phase cards that I wanted to play that I hadn't played yet and I could still afford to play. The other thing you can do in the main phase is you can sell cards. Uh, so let's say I had a bunch of cards, or let's say I had a bunch of cards but I didn't have the combat points and I really want to get this Dick Skin 2 out because it's a very good defensive card. Um, I could sell a couple of cards to get combat points and then have enough to play it. So at the end of your turn, if you've managed to get more than six cards, you'll have to sell down to six. And that would be the end of my turn. We'd go over to Greg's turn. And you get one point per card that you sell. Yes, regardless of the cost of the card. Um, so that would be basically, that's, that's, that's an example of how a turn works. Uh, so we can go ahead and, and get started on this. Um, the, the one part that's missing is because that was a hypothetical first turn. On the first turn, you don't get your upkeep. Uh, normally, you will start by drawing a card and gaining one combat point as your upkeep. Now, the one thing we haven't explained yet is all of these lovely little status effects. There's a lot of those, so let's explain them as they come out. Yep. All right, so, ready to get started? Let's do it. Let's roll for who goes first. Okay. All right, four. One. Ah, I think it's an omen. I think that's explaining how <laughs> this game's going to go. I'm number one, Paul. You are number one? Yes, that's what that means. I've always thought of you as more of a number two. Oh. Oh. Team not Greg. In Team effect. not Greg is in effect. Yeah. Okay, so uh, as I'm going first, I do not get my upkeep or income phase. There's really no upkeep in the first hand anyway. So I will skip ahead to my main phase. So let's show the the friends at home what we got going over here. Mm, so this is a lovely, lovely selection of cards. I really like both of those, but I can't afford to play them. So I'm gonna sell this for one combat point. 
bringing my two up to a three. And then I'm going to play Smack 3. Oh, I should point out one thing to the people at home, if you don't mind. So the skills come in twos and threes. If you have a three, you don't have to have the two out in advance. You can go straight to the three if you can afford it. However, if you have already got the two, then you only have to pay the difference between the two. So if I, it would be cheaper for me to play Smack 3 if I had Smack 2 already up. So that's pretty awesome, but it uses up all my combat points. So I will not be able to do anything to interfere in combat unless I sell some more cards. But I really like both of these cards, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and risk it and just attack. All right, bring it on. Wow. Stinky All right. Barbarian Man. Stinky Barbarian Man. <laughs> Team Not Paul. Team Not Paul. Uh, all right, this is uh, this is a healing, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling more on the offense mode. I'm not interested in healing. Let's just get some swords out. And can you heal above your starting? Uh, you can. So you start at fifty. I'm gonna. Could I could have healed above oh, fifty. Oh, you're catching me on the trivia. I believe you can go up to sixty. I'll have to double check the rule book, or if someone's watching, I'm <laughs> sure they will already know the answer, and they'll be like, "Paul's wrong. He doesn't understand the game." <laughs> but you can heal above. I think sixty is the maximum. Somebody double check that in the rule book. Okay. I have one reroll left. I've got another one, so I have five swords. So this is ten damage from the Ouch. smack two coming Ouch. at your face. And the ability which you didn't get, if it was if you got four of kind included, it would be undefendable. Yes. So I wouldn't even get my roll. So I have three ones, which is not sufficient. Hmm. Well I see a whole lot of arrows there. I see a whole lot of arrows, but I also see a uh -oh. better D. Better D for zero points. So I can re-roll one or more dice. I'm actually gonna re-roll all of them. Oh, you don't care about that two damage back. Well not really, I'd rather try and Oh you got it too. Yeah. So I do prevent half and I do one back. So Alright, so I go down to forty-nine. Forty-five. He cut my big smack down to only five damage. Um, and so at this point, I would have the option to sell more cards or play more cards. I don't want to sell them. I can't play them, so I'm going to be done. Go ahead. All right. So as the second player, I do get my full turn. So I do get to gain a CP and draw a card. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, and I'm going to spend two of them. To play Blinding Shot 2. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. And so his large straight, which was already deadly, has just become even more deadly. Plus, he's acquired actually a second ability under there, which is uh, easier for him to get than the large straight. Well. <laughs> Again, I see a whole lot of ones over there. there. There are a lot of ones over there. Um. Do I want to just take seven damage on you, or do I want to try? And go so for normally else? it would be risky to go for a, an advanced combo because I might interfere with his dice. But because I have no combat points out available, he knows he's a little safer than he would normally be. Yeah. Let's. Yeah, it's just. Oh, Rerolling everything. Happens. That's the barbarian strategy. <laughs> nothing but sixes. One mm. of those, one of those. Let's that try. doesn't look like a large straight to me. That's not a large straight, but if I can get one more foot, which I can't. Oh. oh that's terrible. All right. So. Well, you, you can do three damage. Would you? Yeah. Aren't you happy with that? No. <laughs> no. All right. Three damage it is. Three got, damage. I got greedy. Okay, so the Barbarian also gets a defense roll. It does not work the same way. I'm only rolling three dice, but every heart that I roll will heal me two damage. So if I roll two hearts, I'll actually gain on this process. It's insane. It's broken. Oh, baby! It's broken. <laughs> so uh, the she question you were it. asking uh, earlier about whether or not you can go <laughs> above your original health, uh, the answer is, of course, yes, you can. I'm up to 52. Are, are you done? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Oh, th thank you very much. I appreciated that attack. That was, <laughs> that was very good. So I will gain my one CP and draw my card. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What have I got here? I've got 
I, I want all of these cards, and this is a traditional problem with the Barbarian, is you have to make tough decisions about what you want to keep and what you want to play. But I think that Moon Elf, you you, you got to keep pounding on her. She's just going to... There's too many nasty things on that board that it can happen to me. So Not when I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Um, oh... I need all of these cards. This is the agonizing decisions come in this game. I'm going to not do anything because I have this little secret weapon here. And I desperately want both of these cards and I can't afford them. So I'm just going to sit here and go to my attack phase. Alright, what do we got here? We got a one. Oh, I got another small straight. That seems good. Nine damage. That seems fun. Uh, do 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 all right, let's just try and make a large straight out of it. Fail and fail. So, nine damage coming into you. Oh, now, he has an opportunity. He can mess with these dice if he wants to, and he has the appropriate cards to do so. See? This little wrong. camera's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that does prevent Hoff. And do one back. Ah, you and... Moon Elf's dodging ability. So nasty. And it's half round up, so I would only take four. You will only take four? Oh, yeah, I'll take the four. I will take one back. That's okay, I'm still at 51, so I've still gained over where I was supposed to be. I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. <laughs> okay, anything else? Nope, nope. No, all right. So. I'm ahead by 10. Barbarian's feeling good, feeling uh, strong. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not playing anything. Go to my attack. Oh. What have you got up your sleeve? Well, let's see. It's a feet. Got one of those. Two feet. One of those. And one of those. Ooh, oh, lunar, lunar blessing. blessing. Or do I get greedy again? No, I don't get greedy because I can't roll dice to save my life. So, <laughs> so let's do lunar blessing. So he's good. gonna stop here. So once again, this would be yes. my chance to interfere with these dice if I wanted to. Yeah. And if I did, he has two rerolls left, so he could still use us to try and fix any damage I did. So I'm not going to. You go ahead and do your All right. thing. So I get three evasive. Three evasive tokens. And I inflict entangle on you. Ah, so we should explain to people what these do. Yeah, so... So these are collectively referred to as status tokens. And sometimes a card will refer to status tokens when it just refers to these then. So it would be something like removing them or moving them around between players or that sort of thing. So evasive, um, when I receive damage, I can choose to spend this token. And if I spend it, I roll a single dice. If I roll a one or two, I take no damage at all. Um, and I can, if I fail on one, I could spend another one to have another attempt. So each one gives you a, basically a one in three chance of dodging an attack. Yeah. So that's not good at all because I, <laughs> I need you to not be dodging my attacks. It's good. And then this little nasty one he put on me is called Entangle, and it's only going to apply on my next turn, thankfully, but it's going to take away one of my rerolls. So I'm down to one reroll on my next turn. Yeah. <laughs> but that right. attack didn't do any damage. No damage. So that's the good part. No damage. Unfortunately, because it didn't do any damage, I don't get to roll my thick skin ability. <laughs> gain. <laughs> Try and gain some more health. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to leave it at that. You're good? All right. So I will collect that CP. And, ooh, what does that mean? Mm. <laughs> I got some options here. I got some options. But I think what we're going to do... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to spend these two CPs, and I'm going to upgrade my Crit Bash to Crit Bash 2, because that looks particularly powerful and also opens up Crit Smash ability. We can uh, do some concussions to my opponent. That sounds like a fun thing for barbarians to do. I don't uh, like the sound of it. I will go ahead and, and roll my attack. Now I'm this is going to go away at the end of the uh, upkeep, uh, at the end of the attack phase. I'm only going to get one reroll, so I have to be careful what I'm going for here. Ah, uh, ooh, oh, glad you only got one reroll. I don't need a reroll because I have naturally rolled this overpower ability. Yeah. So I'm going to stop there. Do you want to mess with my dice at all? Uh, no. 
Overpower is one of the the designer man, uh, the artist, one one of the two designers. Uh, he the barbarian's kind of his avatar, his favorite character, and Overpower is one of his favorite powers here. So, some of the powers. You know, I'm just gonna flip this up to the little camera here. Um, will have different effects. So this one actually asks you to roll dice, and then based on the result of that, that's what's going to happen in this attack. So we're going to, first of all, put all this back together. Roll my three dice. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, it's not bad. It's nine. So I'm going to do damage equal to the roll value. If this roll value was at least 14, I would give him a concussion, which is one of my status effects. Um, however, it is not, and I don't have any way to make it that because I have no combat points. So you're just going to take your nine damage. All right. So I'm going to roll my defensive roll first. Aha! This is, this is a happens. cunning... <laughs> cunning move on the part of the Moon Elf, because he can choose to use these evasive either before or after his defense roll. So he's going to wait and see. Obviously, he managed to roll a good right. roll before deciding whether or not so, to, to waste the evasive. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. All right, so you stop half the damage rounding up, so you take four. Yeah. And I get one back from those pesky arrows. Yeah. Well, I'm back to my original 50. This seems good. <laughs> I'm taking a beating, but... At some point, I'm gonna do some damage to you. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know if I believe it. I'm hearing a lot of big talk here. Are you done? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right. It's all yours. I'm gonna smack you, sir. Well, that's my move. I gotta <laughs> smack right there. Oh, all right then. I'm gonna exploding arrow you. Uh, yeah, now that yeah. I can believe, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh... So, not playing anything before. Hmm. Well. Ooh. It's tempting to go for it because we don't have. Yes, once again, I have left myself with no combat points, so this is probably a poor strategy on my part. Uh, a lot of advanced tacticians would keep some here even as just a bluff so that he didn't feel safe. But I'm going full barbarian. All offense. All offense all the time. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Try and actually get some damage. <laughs> There we go. All right, let's stick with the longbow. Okay, seven damage. seven damage coming in. So I will roll my, try and get some more hearts here since that last defense roll was so epic. Uh, well, I got I got one, so that reduces it to five damage coming in. So if I'm playing stuff that affects my attack, mm. do I need to do that before you roll? Okay, so hold on. Let's depends. let's let's time travel back through the phases. So. This is a demo game, so why don't you just bring bring out the card that you're talking about so that I can take that. Right. Roll face action. Play only after attacking opponent. Roll one. Aha, so this modifies your attack. So this is a, a, a wonderful situation where I wish Aaron was here to clarify. <laughs> I think you can do this before or after my die roll. I'm going to, to admit up front that I don't know. Okay. This is something I'm going to have to double check so that I become a better judge of the game. So roll face action. Because it states at, after attacking an opponent. So you have finished attacking your opponent, yes. There is no targeting roll phase because it's just the two of us. So uh, let's go ahead and allow you to do it. I think, um, I'm, I'm fairly sure you can. I feel like based on this one, actually, that it must be before you roll. Ah. Uh, now what are you doing? Well, so I'm going to play this as well. So this one rolls five dice and I add one times however many uh, longbow. So you're adding the symbols. both in? Yeah. And then inflicts entangle. Okay, so, so given given that someone like me can prevent half damage round up, I assume I would have to figure out what the total damage is before you would do a defensive roll. Except that evasive tokens can be used either before or after. But then evasive for instance can be done anytime. So let's follow your logic for now. I will double check with the team and so that I can become right. a better judge of this in the future. So anyway, I did the take that first. And that adds two damage to it. So, so that's that up to nine. nine. And then, of course, I roll four freaking feet. 
one more from this. Ten, but then you also entangled also me entangled. again. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> since we warped back through time, I'm going to re-roll my defense. All right. <laughs> Should have not bothered. It's a good thing you added all those tokens, yeah. Yeah. So I will end up taking a total of four from that. So... <laughs> But you are entangled. I am entangled. That's true. Right. I don't know. Last time I was entangled, I hard rolled the overpower, so I'm not too worried yeah. about that. <laughs> and are then you I'm done. done? You're, you're good over there? Okay. The trouble is he's got a lot of these evasive tokens stacked up. The Moon Elf is, is a very good defensive character. It's hard to hard to pound on her. But if anyone can do it, it's the Barbarian. So I'm collecting my income here. Um, these are... Hmm. So current life totals, 46, 37. So I still keep taking decent chunks of damage. I think I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and roll my attack here. Hmm three three one one five. So a big smack does a lot of damage, but if I can get a four of a kind they'll all be undefendable, which is tremendous fun. That heart isn't much use to me. All right, so on the other hand, I have a one, two, three, which is part of a straight. The straight's fun. No, the undefendable is really important though, because all of these, he's just got too many good defenses over there. So I'm going to keep my threes and re-roll. So undefendable. Oh, but I only have one re-roll. Yeah. This is a very risky move. Very risky move. Oh, and it did not really... Okay, well, I got four. That's not horrible. I got four, so that's still a smack, so you can take eight damage and have that back. All right, so let's make the defensive roll. Uh, only one foot. Only one foot. One damage back. I will... So that happens no matter what, but I can try and spend one of these. Yes, uh, it, well, you, yes you can. So that one failed. Right, let's try you, again. Trying again. Yeah. Okay, so you have dodged the attack. I did one back. And I'm done my turn. Alright, so I get CP, draw a card. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, again, not playing anything before. So Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, Ooh, so close and yet so far. It's going for it. Oh, okay. So I smell a card. <laughs> I don't think it's Might. worth it. It's not I'm worth just, it? I'm just gonna just stick gonna, with the longbow five damage. Longbow for five damage. All right, my, my so hearts have been serving me well. <laughs> see if I can do it again. Game one. Nothing! All right. So yeah. I will take my five damage. That's okay. That's, I think that still leaves me ahead of you by three. You can take it. You're going to like it. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I am barbarian. I shrug off your damage. <laughs> All right, so I'll gain a combat point, and this card here, oh, that looks fun. All right, I am going to sell some cards. This is probably an experienced dice throwing out, uh, fan out there who is going to be very, very horrified to see me selling these two particular cards. Bye bye and get that out of here. They are both cards that remove a status effect from somebody. So let's say, for example, he had put that Entangled or that Blind on me, or I could get rid of his Evasive using that card. Uh, but I have a secret plan. Uh, the secret plan is to mash him. <laughs> um, then I will play a Thick Skin 2 so my defense becomes better. That brings me back down to 1. That's, and then I will attack. That's not going to help mash me. Quiet, you. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, two, three, four, five. So there's a small straight. Oh yeah, we're going for the large straight. We are doing it. I said we're doing it. Oh, the dice are not listening. <laughs> All right, mighty blow for nine damage. All right. Yeah, 
has some feet. So, or I don't uh, know if I should be advising my opponent here or not. <laughs> Let's leave it as an exercise for the viewers. What is Greg missing? What am I missing? Jeopardy theme. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I mean, I could spend that. Oh, no, that's for defense against... Oh! <laughs> I get myself confused. <laughs> yeah. Can you edit me out, edit it out if I make myself look like an idiot? <laughs> no, I, I can put big arrows. <laughs> big arrows? Uh, right. uh, let's say idiots. So yeah. I'll just I'll just take the four. Unless oh, you just, uh, else four. Well, oh yes, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So. You can explain the context for people. Of why uh, the context was I forgot that he got a defense roll. <laughs> I thought it was his attack roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knew what was going on. I knew what was. I going got on. so caught up in the fact that I did a spell straight that I got confused. Yeah, I mean I know. Uh, Small straight right there, or a lunar blessing would have been nice, but instead I was taking four in the face. Anything else from you? No, no, I've done more than enough this turn. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Um, hmm. All right, let's, let's do this. We have one. Hmm. Psychological urge to be this little camera's friend is overwhelming. Five, six. I don't know why. Be his friend. Um, it's my pet camera. It's got enough friends. <laughs> well, I could just do Luna Blessing, but I feel like I need to get some damage on the board. So you don't need to do damage. So let's let's do. Wow. It's not a. Yeah, it doesn't really help. So let's go again. Hmm. All right. So let's do what's the best thing to do. Is that the best thing so, to do? That moment that I thought was happening earlier is happening now. <laughs> All right, so... Ah! Oh, this gonna, doesn't look good. I'm going to spend three to any two dice become wild. So I can change the outcome to a different outcome. Hmm. So I think I want to change that to a five and get a large straight. And then have Paul wreck it. Oh, Paul's thinking about it. The trouble, of course, is that this card here can only be done to one of my dice, not to one of his dice. Such a shame. I think I'm taking something in the face here. Alright, so I inflict blind, I, I gain evasive, and I deal 10 damage. 10 damage. So blind is, is uh, kind of like evasive in that it means the next attack I do, uh, once the attack's all finished and everything's all decisions are made and everything's paid, I'm going to have to roll a die, and under one or a two that attack completely whiffs. Which is terrible. <laughs> Ten damage, you say? Yes, sir. All right. Since I have an upgraded defense, I at least get to roll four dice now. <laughs> and the good news here is, if I roll two hearts, I get to prevent an incoming status effect, such as this blind. That would be a really good time for that to pay off. Wow! Oh yeah! Two hearts, so we we'll reduce the ten to a six, and I'm not blind because I'm too thick a skin to to be made blind. <laughs> Apparently, my eyes have very thick skin. Yes. It's still six damage. All right. So I'll take that, and I'm done. All right. Back to me. Okay. I'll play feeling good, which is free. And I'll roll this and heal one plus two for every heart that I roll. So I'm feeling just a little bit good. <laughs> kind of all right. <laughs> it's all good. You know. That's all I got there. And we will attack. Crit bash. A ah. couple of sixes. Hmm. 
These seem like a good opportunity to try and get some of the... If I can roll some more of those, I got this crit smash, crit bash two, and of course, my ultimate, if I can roll some more of those. So let's, uh, let's go for that. Many might be out there somewhere, and, and there's some... It, it, Barbarian is his character, and he's going, somebody's misplaying the Barbarian now, I can, I can sense it! <laughs> oh, oh, look at that, we got, we got four of those. So, hold on, let's, let's get all, all spinning of the combat pointy here to play Samesies. Samesies changes one of my dice to match any other one of my dice, so I now have my ultimate. Now, Greg does have a chance to play something to interfere with this if his one combat point and any cards in his hand will allow this. Otherwise, the ultimate cannot be defended against or reduced, including by this evasive tokens, or he does not get a defense roll. So do you have anything you can do about that, Greg? Can I... So I can't reduce the damage either by tokens or this. Basically, the only cards thing you can do is mess damage. with the dice. Okay. Nothing okay. else will work against else. an ultimate. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking 15. Okay, so the Rage, yes, inflicts stun on him. We'll get to that in a second. And does 15 damage. Bam. So, stun. Basically, uh, I'll, I'll just read it out here. Player affected with this token may take no actions of any kind. Uh, no cards can be played, no defense can be made. Basically, it means he can't defend against it the same, same way that... Uh, you can't defend against an ultimate. Um, after the attack concludes, the player who inflicted stun removes it, and then immediately targets the same opponent with an additional offensive roll phase. So, I get to attack him again. Whee! Uh, I have heard of people doing that twice in a row and ending the game. <laughs> uh, two, three, five, uh, two, three, three, five, six. Uh, I don't know. That was pretty awesome, so I don't know if I should try and get uh, greedy and... Uh... Oh, on the other hand, I am a barbarian. See, I'm sure there's something wrong with these dice. Something wrong with those dice? I, I think so. Play this combo twice now. <coughs> Put your ultimate off both games against me. Hmm. I'm just going to go for swords and try and rock up the damage here. We got, we got 8 damage from Smack 2 coming in. And you do get a defense against this, or you can use the evasive or whatever that nasty trick in your hand was. Can I help a noob? Can you help a, can you what? Can I, can I help a noob player and suggest that you have a small straight six? It's not, oh! it's not damage. <laughs> <laughs> it, might, it might help. One extra damage could help. Uh, of course, I'm preventing He's got half, me. I'm preventing He's half got anyway, me. so it's four either way. He got me, I can't, uh, I can't. I think. And one back from the arrows? Yeah, all right. Thing. Here, I was so busy celebrating my uh, my ultimate that I, I picked the wrong attack. Uh, I think I'd better prevent the rest of it with this. Ah, oh, not this time! Not this time. All right, well... I was trying to save that to get max value out of it, but I can't just keep taking these, like, four damages every turn. All right. Anything else from you, sir? No, I, I'm going to hang my head in shame that I picked the wrong attack and let you go. <laughs> wow. But I'm still riding high on the ultimate, so I can't complain. Alright, do you wanna just say <coughs> crazy? I feel like those are not that helpful for me. So you know what, sure. I'm gonna sell these two for two and then spend the three to play exploding arrow three. Ooh. And then some pretty nasty effects there. If if only you could manage to roll them. If only I could. Let's let's see. Oh well. Hmm. Mm. That's not really that great, is it? Uh, one foot. One foot. One those. Let's just. Let's oh, he's keeping keeping the moon. Oh I think you goodness. have failed to moon me. I've failed in every way. You have failed for the last time. Fine. <laughs> Who needs all the like, really good powers anyway? Uh, <laughs> five damage. Five damage. From longbow. Okay, well, I, I get a defense roll again. Uh, what, what do we want to count that as? Should I re-roll both of them? It's flat. That's it's flat? Fine, yeah. Okay, so that actually gives me uh, two, four healing then, so I'll take one damage <laughs> from your bow. So it's really hurting him that he's not able to, to roll some of these really, because he's got some very nice powers on that 
with that board, but you haven't managed to roll exploding arrow or your straights oh, very nice. much. Something wrong with these dice. You or like... the covered shot or the demising shot. Do they even have sixes on some of them? I secretly edited the sixes off as a dice. Yes. Because I cannot be publicly defeated by a moon elf. I suspect that's true. Are, are you good yeah, over I'm there? Yeah, I'm All right, okay. I, I'm, I'm sensing blood in the water here. Sen um, Collecting my CP. Drawing my card. Oh, that seems fun. That seems fun. All right, let's let's finish him. Uh, what do we got going on here? Bunch of swords. Swords are boring. <laughs> swords are boring. <laughs> going for it. Uh, that was a poor choice on my part. No. Well. I can at least get a smack out of the deal. Remains to be seen. Or I can try and get a, he a, he a healing is boring. Let's go back to the swords. We'll try and play it safe here. Oh, one lousy. I got my low, at least it's upgraded, so I'm still doing six damage. So that's what I'll do. <laughs> that's still not bad. Um, well, two back at you. I'll spend an evasive. Uh, I want to save it. Ah, let's spend it. Yes. Oh, nope, saved Perfect. yourself. Saved yourself. All right. It's all your turn, sir. One of those. One of those. Ooh. Uh, that gains me two more CP. Getting paid. That's probably not a good sign. All right. Well. Let's see. Alright, there's a couple of sixes there. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Mm. We might see something exciting yet, or we might not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Oh! All right, okay, well, this, this is not good. I wish this I is had, not good. I wish I had what you had before. Alright, so I'm gonna... Uh, why not? Let's just go for it. So I can re-roll up to two dice or the, or same, the dice same die twice. twice. So close. Oh, one last roll. Oh! <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. What do you got for me? I got nothing. Nothing? Right. I got nothing. Well, then I guess we're doing Eclipse. Eclipse. Inflict, inflict blind, entangle, and targeted, then deal seven damage. Okay, so let's pull those over here. Blind, entangle, and targeted. So we've already explained entangle and blind to people. What targeted is, is it means basically every time he hits me now, I'm going to take plus two damage, as long as this is sitting here, which is terrible. And seven damage so i think i'm really hoping for my double heart here so i can at least get rid of one of these oh and there it is does the uh, seven damage become nine uh, uh it, yes it does because yes. it happens in this order yes it absolutely does so uh given the fact that i can prevent one incoming status effect i will prevent the targeted because this is the one that doesn't go away and so this means I've it's now back down to seven because I'm no longer targeted. This prevents six damage, so I'm going to take one. However, I am still blind and entangled, which yes. is very undignified <laughs> for a proper barbarian. And it's your turn. That was close. That was close. Hmm. All right, so let's gain a say combat points. And what do we got here? Oh, so I have drawn Smack 2, which is really of no value to me since I already have Smack 3 in play, so I'll just go ahead and sell it. At least I can get a combat point out of the deal. And then I will spend 2. This is probably a waste. To play What Status Effects, which removes all status effects from a target player. So I'll remove both of those. <laughs> Thus freeing myself up for a regular attack. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky on those sixes again. <laughs> Two of them. So that was my first re-roll. So we're going to go for it one more time. Bam. 
All right, so I have Crit Smash, which is inflict concussion and deal two undefendable damage. So undefendable just means he doesn't get a defense roll. Okay, and concussion. Concussion means on your turn you will not get an income. So you won't draw a card and you won't get a CP. That's but it only, it only lasts one turn. Uh, so go ahead. All right. I guess I just... Six. Oh, do. I don't like the looks of that. And let's see if we can. Oh, all right. Small straight. Entangling shot. Inflict entangle, deal seven damage. All right, so I'm entangled once more again. Maybe. Depends on what you're I can roll a couple of hearts. I have been so lucky on these defense hearts. There's... There's only two hearts on these dice, the four and the five. So this is a statistically improbable amount of hearts that I am rolling against poor Greg here. So, so that one. prevents the entangle. I go down to 29. It's like flicking at you. <laughs> poking you with a little needle or something. Little, I'm done. Little moon elf. Little <laughs> mosquito. I just can't finish him off, though. All right, what do we got here? We got... Uh, I'm going to play Vegas Baby, which allows me to roll the die and collect half of that many CPs. So in this case, I will gain three CP, putting me up to six, which would be absolutely fantastic if I had something cool to buy with it. But I do not, so I will attack. I've never seen a barbarian this high on CP. This is <laughs> ridiculous. I have rolled five hearts. Um, I don't normally like healing as a barbarian, but that's an effective use of the power. So I'll go ahead and just heal the six and call that my turn. <laughs> so I'm up back up to 35. All right. So me? At least you can't do anything about it. You can't defense roll it or evasive it or... All right. Well, might as well You could mess with the dice, but it wouldn't be a very good... That and upgrade the entangling mm -hmm. shot. That's not good. Yeah. Skin. Um, that looks like I, a whole lot of nothing. I don't think he has any of his combinations over there. No. I got that is an unfortunate die roll. So you have basically whiffed your attack. Doesn't happen very often, and it really sucks when it does. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me last game, too. Over to you, sir. But you, you can tell that I did not edit the sixes off those dice there, because you did roll two of them. It's, yeah, they're on those two. I'm up to 7 CP. This is ridiculous. I've never seen a Barbarian at 7 CP before. Alright, this looks good. This looks fun. Uh, should I just... Oh, I have most of a straight here. 3, 4. Let's go for that. And... Bam, that missed out. But we do have a Mighty Blow, and I'm going to play... Get some for 2 CP, so I will play only after attacking an opponent, roll 5 dice, and add the number of swords to the total damage. So I'm currently at 9 damage, and we're going to increase it to 11 <laughs> damage, and I will concuss you again. Alright, so I do get to defend, and I guess I do 1 back and take the full nine, uh, 11, even. 11. There we go. We will, we will squash that bug over there sooner or later. And then I don't get my ink. I'm assuming you're done. I'm done, yeah. Alright, here you go. Have this. I need to do something drastic. Hmm. Uh, He's down to five. The boil. The boil. Moodle is about Elf to die. needs food badly. <laughs> uh. So this is actually a very lopsided uh, game here. I don't, this, I, don't, I don't think I've actually played a game this lopsided so far. Um, I really have been getting a ridiculous number of hearts on my dice. 
And poor Gregor has been having terrible combinations on his. Alright, longbow, seven damage. Alright, seven damage coming in. Here's my defense roll. Oh, oh, uh, two, two. two hearts, oh. so I will take three of that damage, putting me down to 31. You good? No. No? <laughs> I'm about to die. Uh, okay, let's hang on to those. I oh, what? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, no, I can't go for hearts. I have to finish off this elf. Um, we are going to um, let's go for straights. Straights have a lot of damage in them. Uh, this is not a straight. On the other hand, I could finish him off with a smack if I can. Even if I roll two more twos, that would be undefendable then, which would definitely end the game. So that's not undefendable, but it is six damage, so you have to cut that in half or die. Oh, I did. Oh, so stayed alive by the skin of his teeth and did one action. back to me. That's right. <laughs> All right, your turn, sir. <laughs> I'm seriously close to death. Let's see what I can draw. Something good. That's not gonna win me the game, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Longbow two. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh, On four of a kinds inflict entangle. So do you keep the eight damage? I guess the, if you entangle me, that reduces my chance of killing you. Well, it does. All right. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll just do it. Just doing the eight damage? Right? Okay. <laughs> what do we got here? We got. Uh, <laughs> again, this, I should not be rolling this many hearts. You know what this means is, is I'm getting uh, um, karmically uh, using up all of my luck, so in, the, in the, when we play you know, the Pyromancer and the Monk, you're going to clobber me. <laughs> That's wow. what this means. We can only hope. <laughs> You're right. done over there? I'm done. Okay, once again, I'm... Probably don't need to roll these, because as long as you do anything that's four or more, I can't survive. All right, we're going we're gonna to finish off the elf in a blaze of glory here. Put him out of his misery. Uh, ooh, hey, two, three, five, six. Okay, let's spend two of these, bam, bam, uh, to go with so wild, which changes any one of my dice to a wild die. So I'm going to change this to a four, giving me two, three, four, five, six, which is reckless. Reckless deals 15 damage, and I receive four back. All right, well, I'm going to roll and see if I can do some back to you to bring you down a peg on one. <laughs> 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 well, I end the game at 21 then, and you uh, are... Minus 13, I'm dead. Squished elf. Very, so, very squished. Team not Greg. Team not... <laughs> one point for team not Greg. You guys suck. <laughs> you guys am going to do all this. Well, that's well, cool. I like... I like the uh, all the other characters that are interesting. Uh, they are all different styles very much so that's it I mean, like even though the base game is very very simple I, I find that's the same sort of thing about Santorini's each character feels very very different to play yeah. and in this one they're much more ca customized than in Santorini because they each have their own decks their own dice or their own board but right. it's still basically the same game right so yeah I, I agree with you and then I should probably plug season two because yeah. that's one, one of the one of the things um, you probably already don't know all about this, but we have seven currently unlocked characters uh, for season two, and each one of those also plays completely differently than all of these existing ones. There's the the gunslinger, the samurai, the artificer, the huntress, the tactician. Uh, who am I missing? I don't know. Someone's got the seraph is the new one we just yeah. unlocked, and then the other one. Uh, Cursed Pirate. Cursed Pirate. Thank you very much. Cursed Pirate's one of the one of the fans' favorite ones too, <laughs> and she's so awesome because she ha you're playing her normally, but then if you and she's keeping track of, of doubloons, kind of like the uh, the the pyromancer keeps track of fire mastery tokens, and if she ever runs out, you flip her over to the other side of the board. And all of these powers on the other side of the board are much nastier. She's okay. much stronger, wow. but she does a bunch of damage to herself every turn. Oh, okay. So it's like the game huh. is suddenly on a massive time limit at that yeah. point. And yeah. between the two players, they're kind of under control whether or not she's going to flip over 
based on how the game plays out. So nice. that's that's super interesting. Actually, I just want to show on the back. It has the full artwork on the back as well. Manny is so good, and he does yeah. these so quickly. If you tune in and watch any of our live oh, streams, yeah. like he'll produce something like that. Uh, he's produced some of them in 15 minutes. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ri <laughs> like, not only is it oh, gorgeous art, but it's amazing how quickly you can do it. And so the Season 2 format is going to be a little different because we love this art so much um, that we don't want it ex we don't want it covered up. Mm -hmm. So the, these are being basically moved down and separated slightly so you can see the full character in between and the whole thing trifolds together to fit inside a, a single character box, which will hold two characters. Yeah. Single character boxes hold two characters. That makes sense, yeah. right? <laughs> nice. So yeah, yeah. So you can you can check that out on if anyone's watching. Please come check it out on Kickstarter, or if you want to know more about the game, uh, join the Dice Throne community on Facebook. I'd love to have you there. Yeah. Um, so it's what another two, three weeks, three weeks, uh, four weeks. I believe it's thirteen days at this point. Okay. At, yeah. at the time of this recording. Right. So yeah. Uh, and and we're already I I think over six hundred percent funded, and we're unlocking funding quests every day, and, yeah. uh, and still we're... hoping to get one more character. Yeah. Out there. Because the, the the seraph just was the seventh, but the eighth one is. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. As the Easter eggs will lead you to uh, to the eighth character. But, uh, yeah, no, that's I, I enjoy this game a lot. Um, it's it's nice and straightforward to to learn. You know, the first time you taught me, it was very quick to pick up, especially if you have played. You know. A King, King of Tokyo, Tokyo or Magic. Magic, right, uh, yeah. I yeah mean, both of those give you a huge preload of, I know how this you works. You understand how, how things yeah. work. Um, and yeah, like the different characters definitely are, are very interesting. So that's cool. I, uh, so everybody watching this, I'm presuming, already knows about Sentry Box. So I don't need to plug you. <laughs> Did you manage to get some stock of this? Yeah, we got some back in stock. So there are some right so, here in the store right now. If someone's yeah. watching and they want this game, yeah. come down to the Sentry Box and buy it. Yes. Season 1 just came out like a few weeks back, at least in stores. I think Kickstarter back has probably got it a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, we, we got some back in stock, so... If you liked what you saw, come down and pick one up. Although I might go and pick one. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the perks of being the guy in charge, right? <laughs> I'm trying to like hold off so that there are some for customers. But like, that, that's my problem too. Is I, I keep I keep having to use my demo copy for for things, and I, and I keep running out of the game myself. Yeah. I had to I had to specifically keep one to bring here tonight. Yeah. Because there's people who are trying to buy it off me. <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for coming down. As as he said, Kickstarter's on now. The link will be in the the comments uh, in the description below the video. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll have you back on for other Roxley stuff. Oh, soon. love to come down here. Love you guys. Sentry Box is awesome.